Good morning, my fellow geography buffs. This is Ali and welcome back to Urban Atlas. Hope you guys are having a great day today. For today's video, we're going to talk about Canada's most epic island and my favorite island in Canada. This otherworldly island has some of the most unique geography we can find in all of Canada and possibly the world. This vast island is the largest island in Canada and the fifth largest island in the entire world. If you haven't guessed by now, this is Baffin Island. Located in northern Canada and part of the territory of Nunavut, Baffin Island lies between Greenland and the Canadian mainland. It covers an area of 507,000 square kilometers, which is approximately 195,000 square miles. Baffin Island is separated from Greenland on the north and east by the Baffin Bay and the Davis Strait, and it's separated by Labrador and the Ngava Peninsula on the south by the Hudson Strait. Now, Baffin Island has a very fascinating history. It has been inhabited for over 3,000 years, starting with the pre-Dorset people, followed by the Dorset and later the Thule people. Now, the Thule people are the ancestors of the modern-day Inuit. And based on archaeological evidence, we find that the Thule people inhabited Baffin Island around the year 1300. The first European to spot Baffin Island is thought to be Bjarni Herlofsson who was actually blown off course during a storm while sailing from Iceland to Greenland and found his way to Baffin Island. Then around the year 1000, Leif Erikson, son of Eric the Red, explored areas around Baffin Island and is thought to have found Tanfield Valley which is also known as Nanuk. Now despite being almost the same size as the entire country of Spain, Baffin Island only has a population of approximately 13,000 residents, with the largest settlement being Iqaluit which has a population of approximately 7,500 residents. Now, despite being the largest settlement on Baffin Island, Iqaluit has a population that's actually declining. Other notable settlements on Baffin Island include Pond Inlet and Pangnertung, both of which have a population in excess of 1,500 residents. The majority of residents on Baffin Island actually belong to the Inuit ethnic group, and approximately 25% of residents belong to a non-Aboriginal ethnic group. Perhaps the most significant geographical feature of Baffin Island are the Baffin Mountains. Now these rugged mountains run along the northeastern coast of Baffin Island, part of the Arctic Cordillera. The Baffin Mountains are home to some of the highest peaks of eastern North America. Some of the notable peaks include Mount Odin, which is the highest mountain in the Baffin Mountains, Mount Asgard, which is among the coolest looking mountains in the entire world, and of course we have the famous Mount Thor which features the world's greatest vertical drop of 1200 meters. Now, what makes many of these mountains special and otherworldly beautiful is that many of them are separated by deep fjords and glaciated valleys. Now, Baffin Island is also home to the Penny Ice Cap. An ice cap is just a mass of ice that covers less than 50,000 square kilometers of land area. Anything more than 50,000 is generally known as an ice sheet. The Penny Ice Cap covers an area of approximately 6,000 square kilometers which is about the same size as the U.S. state of Delaware. The Penny Ice Cap covers an area, deep fjords and glaciated valleys, and in certain locations it's approximately 2,000 meters deep. The Penny Ice Cap is actually a remnant of the once larger Laurentide Ice Sheet that covered much of Canada and North America. However, over the past few decades, the ice cap has been thinning and its glaciers have been retreating due to the rising summer and winter air temperatures across the eastern Arctic. Now moving a bit west and north, we find the Barnes Ice Cap on Baffin Island. Approximately the same size as the Penny Ice Cap, the Barnes Ice Cap is also located in the area of the Baffin Mountains. And just like the Penny Ice Cap, this is also a remnant of the Laurentide Ice Sheet and includes some of Canada's oldest ice, with some of it being more than 20,000 years old. But my favorite feature on Baffin Island have to be its fjords, one of which is known as the Sam Ford Fjord also known as the Kangik Taluk Ukuti in Inuktitut. And I apologize in advance if I got the pronunciation of that wrong. Now this fjord is approximately 110 kilometers long, located on the remote peninsula of Baffin Island. At its widest, the fjord is approximately 18 kilometers wide, but gradually narrows all the way to 3 kilometers. Now in my opinion, this is home to some of the greatest views on Earth. The fjord is known for its stark granite cliffs rising steeply from its shores to heights above 1500 meters. 
picture a fjord with vertical walls on either side approximately 1.5 kilometers tall. Almost sounds like something you would find on a distant planet, but nope, it's located right here on Earth, albeit in a location that's extremely isolated. Perhaps that's for the better. Now located on the southwestern section of Baffin Island, we can find Nettling Lake. Now what makes Nettling Lake so special is that it's the world's largest lake located on an island. It has an area of approximately 5,500 square kilometers and a maximum length of approximately 120 kilometers. This makes it just a little bit larger than the US state of Rhode Island. Now the lake is located in an area called the Great Plain of Kukjuak. This encompasses a significant area on the western side of Baffin Island, and it's characterized by a broad, flat, tidal zone with tides that may extend 15 kilometers inland. Now being so far north, Baffin Island shares similar climate to other parts of northern Canada. This means very long, cold winters and foggy, cloudy summers. This means snow can occur anytime throughout the year. The average annual temperature at the capital of Iqaluit is approximately negative 9.5 degrees Celsius. Interestingly, the city of Reykjavik in Iceland, which is approximately at a similar latitude, has an average annual temperature of just 5 degrees Celsius. And being so far north, most of Baffin Island lies north of the Arctic Circle. And thus, many communities have a polar night in the winter and a midnight sun in the summer. Baffin Island is home to a wide variety of wildlife, and it houses the Dewey Soper Migratory Bird Sanctuary and the Bowman Bay Wildlife Sanctuary. Some notable species that can be found on the island include polar bears, the arctic wolf, ringed seals, harp seals, walruses, and narwhals. And before I finish this video, I want to give a shout out to some of my viewers for letting me share their awesome footage of Baffin Island. So thank you so much Eric J, Nicholas Jourdain, and Alexander Johnson. Thank you so much for sharing your footage with me. I truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, if you like content like this, remember to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.